Stan Jabalisco here. Uh, I uh, would like to talk about a way that you can use an ohmmeter, a simple ohmmeter, to test a junction field effect transistor, at least to get an idea of whether or not it's burned out. Uh, in this case, I'm going to demonstrate for a P-channel junction field effect transistor. You can recognize that type of device by the arrow pointing outward at the gate. Source, gate, drain. This type of, type of device, as you know, has a channel, which is a continuous connection, more or less, of semiconductor material between the source and the drain. And then the gate uh, is of the opposite type of uh, semiconductor material. In this case, the channel is P-type, the gate is N-type. So we have a PN junction here, in effect, with a cathode at the gate and a big anode forming the channel. So if you take an ohmmeter, and that ohmmeter produces enough voltage at its terminals to overcome the forward breakover voltage of a typical PN junction, roughly six tenths of a volt or more, and if you know that you have the polarity of the ohmmeter correct, that is to say you know which uh, wire produces which polarity of voltage, I have noticed that in my particular ohmmeter, the red wire is like the, the negative terminal of a little battery, and the black wire is like the positive terminal of a little battery. Exactly the opposite from what I would have expected until I tested it. Always test if there's any doubt, and in fact, even test if there's no doubt. Jibalisco's rule. Test even if you are positively certain that you don't have to. Anyway, with this P-channel junction field effect transistor, if you connect an ohmmeter as shown here so that the negative polarity voltage goes to the gate and the positive goes to the source, you should see conduction. Remember, electron uh, current can easily flow against the arrow in a semiconductor signal under a uh, semiconductor device under most conditions, but usually not with the arrow, although there are exceptions. Now, suppose that you reverse that polarity. You should see no conduction, and the reason for that is simply because you're trying to make current flow in the reverse direction through a PN junction, and that should not work. If you do get conduction here, it means that little sucker is burned out this little sucker, the P-channel sucker. This is a junction field effect transistor, by the way, a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, or an also known as an insulated gate field effect transistor. This test will not work. So if it's a, if it's a MOSFET, forget it. If it's a JFET, you're okay. Now your DC ohmmeter should not show any conduction if you try to force current electrons to flow from the drain to the gate, again because you are trying to reverse bias a PN junction and make current flow, and that won't happen unless you have avalanche breakdown and the ohmmeter won't do that. However, if you reverse those polarities, you should see conduction. So, the negative terminal to the gate, electrons can flow from the gate to the drain and out and back into your meter and you should see a low resistance maybe 20 30 40 ohms doesn't matter very much but when you have no conduction you should see infinity ohms now if you uh, test the current in either direction between the source and the drain you should see conduction and the reason for that is because the channel is a continuous passageway of semiconductor material and unless this transistor is biased to pinch off which it won't be if you just hold it free like that uh, you will get conduction in either direction through it like that just the opposite of the way that it works with the emitter and the collector of a bipolar transistor where you don't see conduction with those electrodes the corresponding electrodes so that is how you can do that. Once again, the results, as I uh, got them here, 
Conduction from the gate to the source. No conduction from the source to the gate. No conduction from the gate to the drain. Conduction, uh, pardon me, no conduction from the drain to the gate. I'm talking about electron current flow. Conduction from the gate to the drain and conduction in either direction through this device. If you do not see these particular uh, results, then something is wrong with your P-channel sucker. Stan Jibalisco, signing off for now. Until next time, so long.